Hi everyone, my name is Jamie from meetjamie.com and I am a licensed insurance agent helping seniors manage their Medicare insurance. And I wanna thank you for tuning in to another uh, YouTube video here on my channel about Medicare. Uh, if you like videos like this, be sure to subscribe, uh, hit the like button on this video, maybe share it with a friend. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. So in today's video, what I wanted to talk about just for a few minutes are the different types of Medicare. And we're gonna talk about uh, four different types of Medicare today. So the first part of your Medicare is called Part A, and that's known as your hospital insurance. Hopefully you can see this, sorry if my handwriting isn't that great. <laughs> The second part is called Part B, and that is your medical or doctor insurance, okay? These two things together are known as Original Medicare. So when you first turn 65 or you start to receive Social Security benefits, uh, you would need to sign up for Original Medicare. And you do that through the Social Security office. You can do that online. They have a toll-free number as well. And you can also um, visit your local Social Security office and find out about getting started with your medical insurance, uh, or your Medicare insurance, I should say. So here's what the, the most important thing you have to remember is Original Medicare only covers 80% of your health insurance expenses. Um, also, it does not include prescription drugs. Coverage, okay? So, uh, when you first sign up for Medicare, you want to make sure you're signing up for Part A, which is your hospital, Part B, which is your med medical, but you want to take into consideration that only 80% of your health insurance will be covered, health expenses will be covered, and it does not include prescription drug coverage. <clears throat> okay. Now let's talk about Part C. This is something completely separate than Part A and Part B. Part C is known as Medicare Advantage. Medicare Advantage plans. Medicare Advantage plans are also known as replacement plans. So when you enroll in, a Medi in original Medicare Part A and B and you become eligible for Medicare and you get your Medicare, Medicare card, you have the option of enrolling in a Medicare Advantage plan. And typically these are HMO or PPO plans. There's also a private fee for service. There's a couple options, but typically HMO and PPO is the most popular. And most of these do include prescription drugs. They also have some additional benefits uh, like vision, um, dental, hearing potentially, and gym memberships. The one thing that you'll wanna remember with Part C, Medicare Advantage plans, is that they also have out-of-pocket expenses for things like co-insurance, co-payments, and deductibles. That's just a few things. Each uh, Medicare Advantage plan has a maximum out-of-pocket or MOOP for the year that you would spend. And typically, they're about three to six thousand dollars of potential maximum out-of-pocket expenses. Um, Medicare, or excuse me, yeah, Medicare Part C, Medicare Advantage plans are one option 
that are available to you to receive your Medicare benefits. Okay, you don't have to do Medicare Part C. Um, the other option that you would have is that you would stay on keep stay on original Medicare, so your Part A, Part B, and then you would purchase a Medigap plan. And Medigap, or they're also called supplements. cover the remaining 20% not covered by original Medicare. The nice thing about Medicare or Medigap, Medicare supplements or Medigap is there's um, no network restrictions, meaning you can go to any provider in the United States that accepts original Medicare. Um, the other thing is they do have um, some travel benefits. There's very little or no out of pocket. Costs. Now they do come with a monthly premium that you pay. So you'll want to take that into consideration. The other thing is they do not include prescription drug coverage. So you would need to purchase a standalone drug plan or part D plan. So again, once you're enrolled in original Medicare part A and part B, then you can decide how you want to receive your Medicare benefits. You can do the part C that we talked about earlier in this video, and you can go back and rewatch that part. Or you can stay on original Medicare and add a Medigap plan, which covers the 20% gap. And then you'll also have to purchase a standalone drug plan. This is just a brief overview of the different types of Medicare. Uh, if you have specific questions, or uh, if I can be an assistance, assistance to you, feel free to give me a call at 800-974-0552. Uh, we'll put the phone number and the link to the website in the description below. Uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.